Welcome back to my dining room table. You can't see all the terrible things that are on my table. I've been working really hard on new Mantis stuff. Um, like, for instance, I have a mini Mantis pack here. All your beginning Mantis essentials, like feeding tongs and a spray bottle. Good stuff, good stuff. It's all in my shop, so check out my shop. Um, you may have some other questions like, hey Ishi, how many plaid pink shirts do you have? The answer is a lot of them. I have a lot of them. I can't actually tell you how many, but there's a lot. So, now you know. Additionally, hey Ishi, it's not Sunday. No, it's not, because I got a box today from the post office who told me that they didn't have it. And then at 4.54, they called me and said, oh yeah, it's here and expected me to sprint over there and get it, which of course I did. Um, I haven't opened this box yet. I, I opened the, I cut the thing open, but I haven't peeked. I have a general idea of what's inside, uh, but not a detailed idea. We've got foam. Yes, I ordered foam. A box of foam. No, no, let's get rid of that. Uh, bubble wrap. Oh, it's warm. This is very warm. That means the heat packs are working still, which is good. This was shipped overnight to me. So everything should be nice and good. Oh, I've cut myself on the box. Try to ignore that. If you see any blood, ignore that. It's just wipe it on my pants. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't even feel it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, they're so tiny. I will try to set up my uh, nail art camera setup to get better close-ups of these guys because there's no way you're gonna be able to see them. They're just so small. They're uh, spiny flower mantis nymphs. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never seen them this tiny. These must be L1s, maybe L2s, but they're so small. So there's two of them. There's three of them. They're packaged very nicely. There's four of them. Looks like everybody's had a little snack that looks like they've been eating melanogaster, which is good. I have some of those. Heat pack, very toasty. I could still use this because it's kind of chilly outside. Hope everybody's enjoying the icy weather because it's pretty chilly. Which was why these guys were held at the post office instead of just delivered to me because it is too chilly for them to be sitting outside and I have a, I have a day job, unfortunately. So my camera filled up um, and I had to delete some things. So I had to change the whole, like, where the camera is, where I am, where all this stuff is. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. But we've got four little spiny flower mantis nymphs who are too small, too small. Um, Ooh, wait, no, this says two times a hundred plus houseflies, but it is in fact a spiny flower mantis. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. Um, but like I said, I wonder why he's in a different container. I will try to take them over to my nail station and so we'll get closer pictures. Okay, this is the last thing. This is the most exciting thing in my humble opinion, but it is actually a spiny flower mantis ooth. Let me just open it since there's nothing crawling around in here at the moment. So this is what it looks like. And when you put it in your cup and when it hatches, the babies will come down. I also have a couple more boxer mantis ooths hatching and I have some European mantis ooths hatching very soon. If you're interested in those species, maybe keep an eye on my shop because I will be adding them depending on how many I get. I do want to keep some behind for breeding projects, especially these guys, but I may have plenty of other stuff to stock. Oh, I can't, but they're so tiny. They're so tiny. That's everything in the box, as you can see. So let me just start with that. These guys will be going in my new bungalow housing, uh, which you can see I've got one started here. They're very small, but they're going to have, I don't think I'm going to go with this style of ventilation. I have other ideas that I think will be better, but this is the perfect size for a tiny little mantis like that, and it's great for boxers as well. So those will be going up in my shop very soon once I sort of finalize how I'm going to do the ventilation. 
That way you can feed Melanogaster and it won't get out everywhere because oof, oof. I hate Melanogaster. That's kind of it. It's a quick video. I wasn't planning on making a video today until I bought this box like two days ago. So, but um, keep an eye out for babies and I will try to insert some more clips, maybe to music in uh, just after this of the tiny ones. Okay, so try to ignore how messy this is. This is definitely my nail station and not where I usually film books. But let's get this little guy. Also try to ignore my naked nail. My polish is in desperate need of being changed. So here is the tiny one. They look like ants when they're this small. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There you are. Oh. Oh. My dog is under me. That's what you're hearing. Sorry. Oh, hello. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, focus. I know it's very difficult to focus on. There we go. So you may be able to see they do have white spots along their bodies. They continue to have those as they age, but as they get older and older, they lose the black coloring. Um, I've, you've probably seen spiny flower mantises on my channel before. It's not very good quality zoomed in this far, but boy, they sure are little. Come on, focus. Um, I'm hoping to do a spiny flower mantis care video very soon. I just wanted to get in real close with these guys. They have such great little personalities. Okay, I don't know why we've gone super bright. Looks like this. Oh, he's gleaning. All right, I gotta get these guys set up in their new little terrariums, and uh, we'll get to watch them as they get big, huh? Oh, they're just so cute. Sometimes you can get them to do a little dance when they're... Oh! Don't look at me like that. That was very cute. They do this because they like to climb upwards. And he's just trying to reach to climb up. Okay, okay. I gotta stop heckling him or I'm never going to get any work done. Um, so I'll try to get these guys out in my spiny flower mantis care video. I've got, uh, a couple of adults ready to go. So that's definitely on the table. I'm hoping to get it out this week, but you know, my schedule. So, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to show this tiny baby next to an adult. So you can, see, well, not that close cause she will eat him, but you know, to compare the sizes. All right. Take a bye little one. There's a nice clear shot. Mm -hmm. So, look out uh, for Sunday, because hopefully we'll have another... Yes, I just finger gunned, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, keep an eye out. I'm going to really try to get videos up. Uh, my, both my roommates have changed schedules, so it may be easier or harder for me to record. We'll see. But until the next video, keep uh, looking out for the babies.